Ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna be visiting the Z House 2 in LA. I'm only here for like five days. Look how bright it is, bro. I don't even think y'all can see that. Got my shoes on, bro. This is the only pair of shoes on. Look how dirty, boy. Look how dirty that is, bro. They got me wilding right here. I'm in the elevator right now. I haven't even eaten breakfast. I don't know why I've decided to do this, why I've decided to venture off for like an hour plus to go to the Z house and just see it. I don't know, for memories. It's hot. I don't know how long I'm gonna make this, bruh. It's, uh, it's a hot day. Uh, like where I live right now, it's already starting to get dark when you wake up, cold. It's nasty, bro. Oh, this boy, this boy got a 666. You better run, bro. Look at that. Dude, you always see some crazy things out here in LA. There's always something like, you can just go for a walk. Like, you'll see that 666 car. Look, look at this. You got a nice modern house. And then you also got destitution right next to it. Bro, I've always had this question, right? Why is it that the news building, CNN, has to be the biggest building they got here? Bro, they got the abortion on demand stickers here. What the heck going on on the sidewalk button? I always thought the 5G tower thing was a joke, but just look at that. <laughs> look at that thing, bro. That thing definitely causes COVID. I mean, bro, where else in LA or anywhere in the world could you find this? Two mattresses and a couch for free? I mean, come on, man. All right, if this doesn't tell you what LA is, I don't know what it is. So look at this, we got a green truck, beautiful green truck behind me, right? And then inside, bro, they got like in and out and just a bunch of fast food, bro. Come on in there, bro, it's so loud. We're about 15 minutes away now, and uh, I always think this is the wildest thing with LA. Like, the architecture here is so crazy, especially when you look at this. That's a post office, okay? That's a post office. That looks like a bank from like 1100 AD. Tell me what street you think I'm on when you see that. Tell me. Boom, baby. We are Hollywood Boulevard. We're a long way from Texas. Uh, but yeah, okay, first star. Robert Montgomery. Oh, I know that guy. I, I know that guy. That guy's my favorite guy. What we got here? Irene Dunn. I literally don't know any of these. I don't even know where I am. Wow, this is so dead. Playmates, nobody's here. What's going on, yo? The tourist bus, yo. We got the transit tower. Oh, there's number two. There's Die Rice. I'm close, though, to the house. We're like literally like 10 minutes away. I know a lot of people want me to go see Z House 1. That's in a whole other location, bro. If I, if it, it would take me like nine years to walk there, bro. Come on, now. Bro, this whole building is in lockdown, bro. This looks like a spooky Halloween ghost maze. They, they don't want nobody inside. They're making meth in there. Walter White's in there. The wildest thing about flying into LA also is just, you can see this circular capital looking building from a mile away. Like literally, you can see even from where I'm standing. You can see it from in the air. In the air, gamers. I mean, if this doesn't describe LA, I don't know what does. I just had a homie ask me to buy a beer for him for 50 cents. It's a long way from Texas, y'all. It's a long way from Texas. Well, we're like five minutes away. Uh, this place is pretty sentimental to me. Like, they got all these nice buildings over there. Look at that, bro. Look at them buildings over there. But seriously, like, I remember going to this place a lot with Pat. We used to walk around here. Uh, but this place has changed a lot recently. Like there, there used to be a ton of homeless people here. There was like, now there's like a bunch of trash everywhere. Like in five years, it's actually insane to me how much this place has changed. Like it's completely changed from every little single thing here. Like you can see like all, the, I'm gonna show y'all all this garbage, but like listen, at like four in the morning, Pat and I used to come out here and just take a walk with bruh. Like it's sad, man. Seeing like how everything has changed here in like four to five years, it's just genuinely crazy. And like, I I feel like, I don't know, I feel like maybe my vision of Hollywood will never be the same as to what it was like back in like 2016, 2017. But it's still a super place, despite all the problems, despite like the homeless people, despite everything else, but I mean, we're super close. So this is the wildest thing about going to the Z House because near the Z House here, you see this dark, dark tunnel. 
and that was like genuinely the scariest thing to go through at night because that one time that I told you all about this like homeless woman that came up to us and was like she like literally zonked out of her brain bruh she was here bro and it's like I feel like at night this dark tunnel is like the, the place for people to gather and it's absolutely horrifying and I'm like bruh like it's scary dude like especially boys we in spooky Halloween mode bruh spooky Halloween we ain't gonna make it it's like oh echo echo oh we got echo they got echo in here bro the, the Overwatch 2 hero? The Overwatch 2? Bro, I'm almost there, but look at the They got the feet. Yo, what them feet doing, boy? What? What? How does this person die, bro? What the heck? And here it is. This is the Z House 2. I can't believe it, bro. They got a tarp up up on this thing. This is new. So this is like where the area that we were chilling at. This is where the boys were parked at. This is the other person's place. They got like the little DE like garage door. But honestly, like... It's so crazy to me that it's like a place that you can go and this is where we decided to have it. Like, it was so monumental at the time. And I, I wish we could do it again. You know, I wish Sea House 3 was more of a thing that we could have done. Wait, they got a Daffy Duck here? Wait, hold on a second. This is the Z House 3 right here. Homie Daffy Duck with the eyes? But yeah, man, this is so cool. And like, this was the road that I ran down the Z House for the video. This was uh, for the returning of the Z house, the door and everything, all of this. It was so cool. And uh, I definitely will miss it for sure. I mean, I don't really have any access to go inside the place. Like, I don't really know the owner. I think the person that knew the owner the most was Matt. But I mean, just taking a walk up it. It's beauty, man. It is beauty. <laughs> Look at this. It is so nice. I mean, I will always have this place as a special place in my heart, without a doubt. I mean, this place was one of the coolest places in LA. I mean, without a doubt. And like, we were so close to everything and I mean, just having pictures and doing all the videos that we did here, it was so cool. And like, just looking up at it now, it's just a memory. But uh, it'll be a memory that I think I'll always enjoy in my life. Without a doubt, even if YouTube does end for me or or if this is the end, I mean, this is one of the coolest experiences I think I ever got to do. And <laughs> there's that. Dude, this is the garbage bin that I came out of. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, it's the exact same. This is truly the Z House 2. But, I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh, it is now but a distant, distant memory. And I think, um, I think it's just the way it is, man. It's bittersweet, you know, cause I mean, we could have kept going. It definitely, I always tell people, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been zombies if we kept going. It would have been, it would have been Fortnite and stuff. And I mean, it was such a little tropical paradise. I love this place. It was cool. And uh, one day, one day we'll do something bigger, I hope, one day. Call of Duty might come back, but even if it isn't COD, I hope to do something big with gaming one day and, you know, do something as great as this. Cause just look at this place, man. It was beautiful. So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Z House One, maybe we'll, we'll visit that sometime. You know, one thing I should mention as I'm walking back here is that, uh, I think it's important to move on. You know, it's important to realize that some good things happened and that we should all move on. Cause it's, dude, it's been like five years now. It's been half a decade. And I feel like, yeah, the good times, they always come, but there's always more good times to be had. Well, that's it for the trip. I mean, I uh, didn't record much when I came back. I was a little bit sad. Uh, Cause I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. You know, I still gotta get my visa. Still gotta, still gotta do a bunch of stuff here. Uh, just uh, it's a weird it's a weird scenario. I love this weather. I love this view. I mean, just look at this view. This is crazy. It's maybe I come back. Maybe I make more content for you guys. Maybe I change my whole life up. I don't know. This will be uh, it'll be a different decision for me every time. But eventually, I will come to that conclusion. I'm not here for long. I uh, still got to get my visa. It'll probably be at the beginning of 2023 when I do get it. And uh, if I get it, will I come back here? I don't know. 
A lot of different things have happened, different people, different relationships. We'll keep you posted. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. We love the Z House too. Let me know if you guys would want me to check out the first Z House. And I'll see y'all in that next one. Well, somebody just left a whole coconut here for the Z House. They left a gift. Da coconut, 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 boy, yeah, da coconut, coconut. It actually looks so good. If it wasn't on the floor, I'd probably eat it. I'm not even going to lie with y'all.